what is up you guys it's your girl robin welcome back to my channel so today is september 30th two days postpartum my midwife is on the way here to check up on me and the baby right now i'm just waiting on her I'm watching the colorado game baby is in a little bouncer my mom came today she's in a straighten up that went to go get her some food so yeah also you guys my breast pump came today i got that through my insurance for the free ski got the doula here it's that, that stuff that uh -huh. is some of that still there though. Like Good. Before you play it, you place it in every bathroom mm -hmm. tank? I, I used it up though. Oh, you did even yeah. use a little more. Okay. Okay, I'm going to bring you some. I was about to say, because you told me you use it every time I pee. Yeah, yeah. perfect. Okay. I don't know. I, and I do that often. I don't know why I think I make them batches. I'm like, I still well, don't you, have any. You, you, you did get a big scoop the first time. The first time. <laughs> I'm heavy handed. I want to make sure it's getting on there. Mm -hmm. Um, I will mix some more and bring it uh, mm -hmm. back up so you can use it and we'll see what the What was all in it again? Comfrey. Comfrey and lavender. What's comfrey? It is a plant okay. that grows from the ground. I mean, that's what plants do, but um, it, has, <laughs> it has a womb, uh, womb uh, healing okay. properties. And if you're using the pain bottle with those other mm -hmm. herbs, it has plantain, comfrey, lavender. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's I just like a little bit of it. I started yeah. like pouring a little bit in there. Okay. It makes it a little bit more water. To okay. Consider. I'll send you what, which one I get or what herbs at least. Mm -hmm. um, I don't have it with me right now, mm -hmm. but I will send it to you. So if you want more, you can. And you can even use it for um, Yanni steaming mm -hmm. too. And then I'm also going to leave you with some tea. Some first pollen tea, darling. Indubitably. Huh? I'm laughing. Oh. What? I don't even know anymore. Okay, let me focus. I'm sure I'll be. You know, I Breastfeeding is challenging you, mm -hmm. so we'll work on that. <clears throat> yes. uh, I would say from after I take you, it's a little bit better. I guess like I'm getting the hang of it. Okay. The only thing now is just like the initial latch. Mm. Yeah. I've been. Uh, I like squeeze a little bit of my breast milk, and then okay. I got like a little container with coconut okay. oil. So I've been putting that on, and then I got uh, little pads and. Um, something you can get are the silverettes okay, yeah. because the pads, if your nipple is chapped, it's a little wet, it yeah. can get stuck. That's what's going on there. I, I just told that, that that's what I need to buy. That's not fun. Mm -hmm. Um, so silverettes, I'll send you the link from uh, Amazon. They just ordered uh, vines. My vines come from Mexico, so I it may take a little bit, but. They should be on their way, and I will be coming back. Once I get them, it should be this week, mm -hmm. I'll come first thing and, and bind you, mm -hmm. okay? They should be here this this week, hopefully. I'm praying. Um, and then I'll bind you, and I give you two of those. So those two of those will be yours. But I will still give you a wound massage today. Get you. How's your bleeding? Uh, is, you want to see it? Okay. okay. I feel like it, it stopped. Well, not. I, I mean, I don't know how to explain. It's not as much like as it was. coming out. Yeah. Like scant, yeah. kind of just come and go. Yeah. That's why I was saying when I took a shower, I got on the same. Depends and not nothing in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. But when it does come, it's red. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I seen one small clot tight looking thing. Right. And then I'm gonna have you scooch down in the bed so that I may. Oh, I'll send this over for her to her too. Oh yeah, we were talking about that last night. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. 
how she at at night time? Uh, first night was real good. Last night, a little whiny. Tonight, she gonna tear it up, okay? I figured. Mm -hmm. Tonight, y'all so just be patient with each other. She gonna tear it up. She gonna be like, oh yeah, I got something to say. Be serious. But remember, I never seen create. May I touch? Mm -hmm. Oh they yeah, did. look is coming in. Oh yeah. They will be. You can't poop it, okay? I haven't pooped yet, but I've been farting. Okay, I thought good. I had to poop. So. You haven't pooped yet? We had baby on Thursday. Mm -hmm. I thought Friday, I Friday, Saturday. Saturday. Uh, no morning. later than tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I think it's more forming because I thought. Well, there's I one forming? Yeah, no, there's before, one. before I took a shower, I thought one was coming, but then. It, well, it the gas away. means it's coming. Yeah, so. yeah, that's why I say I think mm -hmm. it's more forming. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's All good. I'm like, picking up is like a Transformers, like <laughs> Autobots. Stop. <laughs> 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 Auto turds. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> oh, good. Uh, nipples are sore. Are they cracked at all? Uh, I'll show you. Questions for me regards to you? Uh, no. I know uh, my stomach been cramping. That, that's about the only thing, just the cramps and mm -hmm. my nipples. Okay. Other than that, I've been fine. My vagina hasn't been bothering mm -hmm. you. Okay. I think I only felt between from labor and now, I think I only felt like steam twice. Okay. Two different times. Good. But other Good. than that, Feels good. And then, uh, and then, um, do you have the haka? Mm -mm, I haven't ordered it yet. Okay, you need that. What's that? Uh, the that amazing just, mm -hmm. That's like ideal. It's better than, you'll need your pump potentially at some point. But the haka is life. I ordered it. I ordered a few other things off Amazon. Like, you know, it'd be something else I ordered too. Okay. So, um, for her, we're going to weigh her, I'm going to undo her clothing, we're going to take that plastic clamp off, and we're going to latch her so that we can do her newborn screen. Okay. The newborn screen is what tests for metabolic disorders, which just means things that only can be tested for when she's born. Okay. Sickle cell, taste sacs, thyroid disease different thalassemias, anemias, all of those things, okay? Mm -hmm. So this is for you so that when you do find a nutrition, it's proof that you got it done. Okay. And then the state of Texas is asking your permission on what to do with the blood spark card. All right, I have to fill up three at least. It's good if I can do five, but I typically do three depending on how well they bleed. Mm -hmm. And they're asking your, oops, they're asking your permission. Is it okay for them to keep this blood spark card for 25 years or greater? Okay, to do research inside the state or outside of the state? No. Hi, girl. Hi. What you been doing? Are you ready to eat? Yeah. Another baby girl. Mm -hmm. I'm about to. Mm -hmm. Well. Can you take this out for me? Yes, ma'am. Where do you want to? Uh, we're going to put it on your table okay. out there. Yes, so there. I know it's cold. Once I get them in, I'll let you know, um, and I'll just come, because I know you're not doing nothing. <laughs> nothing at all. I'm not going to That's a little strong baby too. Mm -hmm. Horns just be yeah. <laughs> like, give me your horns. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Why daddy say that? Mm -hmm. He said it. Why? <laughs> Why he say that about you? That's not true. <laughs> it ain't true. Hmm. Yeah, let me talk about you. Too. Hmm. Especially in front of my face.
I've been catching up on your videos, so yeah. I've been catching up. Little booty. No tenderness, right? Cut on my stomach. Mm -mm. Good. I would have told you. <laughs> so far, so good. Hopefully with this, you'll definitely want to go to the bathroom. Hey, both my girls getting worked on. Um, you know, when, when I pee, you see it don't right, just stay up, mm -hmm. just stay and do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. like a yellowish it can come become a little yellow um, but that's that's normal lochia around about a week your scab inside will sometimes fall out and it will look like like it's super like light all these days and then all of a sudden it's like a little clot or a little extra bleeding and that's most likely the the scab wound that fall, falls off mm -hmm. How many wet and dirty doctors y'all get? I miss them. Sorry, and sometimes me, I couldn't crack no jokes. <laughs> that was fun. You did amazing though. I'm not gonna lie. First time mama, you killed that. Killed. I didn't think I would be six or seven year old. What you call it when you all got here? I don't know, I guess I thought when you, it would have been more at mm -hmm. that. But I, you know, I think she was ready, you were ready, your body was doing what it was supposed to do, you know? So, um, sometimes we, we, um, underestimate our capabilities, you know? And you put in the work, yeah. right? I think you did everything we ever recommend, mm -hmm. right? Which is everything you saw, chiropractor at least. So, mm -hmm. You know, so I tell people, you I'm know, glad I huh? I'm glad I did it. Yeah, it's because it helps. It really does help. And I think some people take some of that for granted. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, half of the work, most of the work is on you. Mm -hmm. it's, on, it's your onus, right? I'm here to guide, mm -hmm. recommend, and show up. If you can't do your part, I can help when I get here in the moment, but sometimes that's too late. Mm -hmm. But I can't make a baby do something they don't want to do. Right. And if, and I think- A lot of people don't want to stay in here. Mm -mm. I'm like, look girl, the body gonna work. And I try to remind people, and you guys want this in your class, labor is three things. I you guess that is why like, I didn't do what I did, because I know about the body. Mm -hmm. And your That's mindset perfect. too. Mm -hmm. The mindset is very helpful, and you know what you want. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, you know, yeah, when I get, I've, I've knew this before. Me and him. When I meet clients like you, who are like, yeah, I'm good. Okay, well, you good? I'm good. Okay, I won't ask my question. So you see how that makes it a little easier for mm -hmm. her to get on there. Instead of that, her dictate. No, that makes sense. First time on job, be they just be. Yeah. I'm like, get out and push it on there. I noticed that yesterday, like last night, that I had to be a little bit more. Firm. Mm -hmm. Firm yet gentle is my word. Firm yet gentle. Okay. And we nurse so that she do not hate me too bad when I do this. Come here. Find his nipple. He got a little tighter. You ready? Mm -hmm. Three, two, one.
She bite. Mm -hmm. I control the flow. Wait, do we? Okay. okay. Everything is <laughs> room temperature or warm. Okay. So that way we bring back warmth into your room. Okay. okay. Um, warm plants, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Remember that. Cold is restricted. What'd she say? Mm -hmm. Okay, I think that's going to cut it. Alright, sister, I'm cleaning it. I know, I'm sorry. Later. Sometimes she won't burp because there is no gas bubble or you know that we're forming gases that are forming. So sometimes you may not feel any burp come out, and that's okay. Um, she wasn't burping. Yeah. 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 But it just felt like she had. It's like, like little noises that be feeling yeah, yeah. like she so got. Yeah. So what a... you can do? Um, sometimes you know you could pat, and that's fine. Uh, but what I like to recommend is just kind of rub her up and down on her back like put her up and then just rub her and you'll hear like the okay. you know um because their backs are really sensitive especially during like this young their backs are really sensitive all their nerves are like you know gotcha. um so even just a little rub will help um if not you can just kind of hold her on your on your legs sitting down and just kind of like boom and then you can either rub her or just do like little pats very, very mm -hmm. gentle. She doesn't need like. Yeah, oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because um, so, if I pet her, I'd be like, like, mm -hmm, kind of like that. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you don't know where that gas bubble is, so that rub up and down her her back is. We'll good. move it out. Mm -hmm. I remember what we just said. Perfect. Um, gassy or maybe even constipated. Um, some belly rubs. So the way that I rubbed you was up, across, down. In that, so on your right side, you're going up and then across from right, right to left and then down on your left side. You could do the same thing with her. Um, bicycles up with her legs, bring them up. We've doing it. Mm -hmm. yeah. We've seen a video. Come on now, we, yeah. <laughs> you're doing the work. Come you on now. She's only lost 6%. Perfect. 6% of what? Her birth weight. So they lose weight and then they pick it back up. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Look at Mama Bill. Mm -hmm. Just remember tonight is maybe, yeah. maybe your referee night. So any, if you have any, any tools you got, this, mm -hmm. a squint, you probably want to pull them out to be ready for them. Music, mm -hmm. music that you've heard yep. while you were pregnant, mm -hmm. put it on. Cause yeah, she'll I know, remember yeah. it. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that may soothe her as well. Sometimes getting in the car, rolling the windows down, or just going outside changes the atmosphere mm -hmm. for them and they calm down. So pack in your naps tonight because tonight may be. Woo! Are you going to the living room now? Oh, I'm like, no, yes, you can. <laughs> That's all you can do. She can, okay. Uh, yeah, I've been on the end. I know what I said, he's been on the If you like, do leave the room, room though, I know, I know you're getting hot, but stay warm. Put on some socks, put on maybe some like yeah, she like hate being hot. I've been hot the past two I days. Know. I, had, I took, I took the uh, the heating pad. The no, nah, the plastic that oh. you had put on. Yeah, I had to take it off. Yeah, no, that's fine. I was like, it was plastic. Like even my toe, I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah, the plastic does. She said even my toe. So, <laughs> and then I do be having the heat blank on, so that just make it worse. I'll be moist. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be moist. But it does help with your, your healing process. It helps yes. keep blood moving and flowing, energy moving and flowing. And that's what we need, right? I mean, if you get too warm, I mean, yeah. you may not be drenching in sweat, but you know, you find yeah. a comfort level, mm -hmm. but you know. be regulated. Yeah. yeah, night sweats are very normal. So you might wake up 
like drenched. And you'll look to him and kind of like shrink with Sharabi. Yeah, wrapping up in his leg. I'm like, uh -huh. go. Yeah. Oh, yes. So that's very, that's, that's completely normal. Hello. Um, but yeah, hey, no, other than that, up with keep doing what okay, you guys right are doing. Uh, okay, you know, if you have any questions, I mean, you've been reaching out, so keep doing that if you, if you still have any concerns or questions. Um, so you got them all. That milk is gonna come, so remember mm -hmm. Haka. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna I'm gonna send it to you as well, so that way you have you remember. Um, mm -hmm. But the Haka is going to be very helpful because yes. what it, when you're feeding her like that, the other one's gonna start spewing, and you'll collect. Mm -hmm. I noticed it. Yes. Mm -hmm. And what what the Haka does help do is prevent as much mastitis. You know. Mastitis comes from when we aren't emptying the breast, mm -hmm. especially in the early days. Your body on purpose makes more milk than it naturally would. And you'll notice that some of that will kind of taper off, right? Mm -hmm. but in the beginning, it is just like, oh my God, it's a new baby. You don't know how many babies you got. <laughs> mm -hmm. It just is like there's milk for something to get. So you want to kind of collect as much as you can because sometimes what will happen is as your body regulates, you may not be a woman that can just pump gallons, I shouldn't say gallons, but ounces and ounces of milk, and you may be feeling some kind of way. Well, that's just not what your body can do. Because you're like, oh my God, in the beginning, I have so much milk. Yeah, on purpose. That's what the body does. Because they need it, right? They need that kind of fatty quality milk. So the is beautiful at kind of helping keep your breasts a little more regulated and not full, 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 okay? Um, but yeah. Uh, ditto to what uh, Melina said about staying warm, making sure you're eating at least three meals a day. Um, if you are going to snack, make sure it's a healthy snack. I mean, we get it. You might want some cookies and things, and that's fine. But we want you to stay as healthy as you can, stay super duper hydrated, um, and nap when this baby naps. Okay? Ain't nothing important right now. Mending um, your wrist. Then you sleeping and taking care of this little person. Everything else can. Um, big, okay. Yeah. You're a bossy lady, so put your boss pants on and say, "Hey, get that, okay?" Because that's what—that's my favorite part about postpartum. I just get to sit down and tell people what to do. We really want you to enjoy this time. You will never get this time back, and we, we really want you to heal. So yes, you can go out to the um, um, living room and you know change up your scenery, but no laundry, no dishes, no nothing. Just. Just sit. Okay. <laughs> Just sit. Just sit. And picking up only the baby. Nothing more. No, like, oh my gosh, let me, no, no. folding laundry. I, yeah. You're going to be like, lady. I ain't lying, cause I know a con. Mm -hmm. I know a con. Yeah. We don't know how to just be like, okay, yeah. we gotta fold it. That oh, look, now I'm finna get over here. Okay, now I'm finna uh -uh. just wait if it's, it's yeah. just there. I know our con, cause I'm not con. Okay, that's why I'm late everywhere, cause I'm fit of fat one. Okay, I'm finna reorganize the cabinet. What are you doing? It's time to go. I'm gonna back hang out myself. So. Enjoy your new baby. Y'all are both doing beautifully well. Um, I will be back next week. Call, text, send pictures of anything. You have questions and answers. Oh, we definitely will. Okay. Anything before we go? I gotta make the comfrey. I'll make it in the back of my trunk. Um, make that good stuff for you. Emotions are very, very normal. Mm, yes, so yes. Baby yes. blues, the crying, you might look at the wall and be like, that's a that's a nice off white, you know, and cry about it. It's mm -hmm. okay. So okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, so that's good. If you feel like by week three ish, week four, you're still like sad and they want to ask every time I come, how yeah. you feeling, how you doing? And most of the time when you come in, you kind of know you're coping well. It's mm -hmm. every now and then a mom, you're like, mm -hmm. what's going on? Yeah. What's happening? And sometimes that's all that you need. Someone to just check in with you. Yep. Like, hey, what's going on? Mm -hmm. I see it in your face. Let's talk about it. Mm -hmm. You know? Um, but definitely, you know, check in with yourself. And yeah. I will be in contact with you throughout the week. Alrighty. The greatest.
I'll be back next 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 week, next weekend, Friday, Saturday. I'll text you one of the two, depending on what the. I haven't looked at the schedule for next week. I have no idea what happened to the people on Friday, what my sister did. So I'll let you know. Because if I can see you next Friday, then I'll swing up in here, girl, and be like, we'll be here.